Also tonight, bond denied for a suspect in the killing of a man during a bizarre chain of events in Gloucester County. And the body of the victim was found several miles away in another part of the county. 24-year-old Winfrey Henry Jr. faces charges of second-degree murder and more in the death of Karon Long. Authorities say it began with a home invasion and a missing persons case. Then at your side's Chris Horn has more from court and the timeline of events. Winfrey Henry's defense attorney says he wasn't totally surprised that his client didn't get bond, but he says he has no criminal history. However, prosecution says he has some drug activity definitely in his past. Judge Stephanie Revere ordered that Winfrey Henry remain in the Middle Peninsula Regional Jail on the second degree murder charge. And afterward, his attorney spoke to us in terms of self-defense. The law is very clear in Virginia that uh, any force that someone uses, if, if that person reasonably believes that his life is in danger, an appropriate amount of force to repel that threat is, is valid. Deputy Commonwealth's Attorney T. Marie Walls told the court Henry was involved with fentanyl, heroin, and meth. She says Henry and Long got into an argument, and Henry initially shot Long once or twice. Then Henry allegedly told investigators he thought Long was going to die anyway, so he shot him several more times in the arm, leg, and abdomen. The Commonwealth says blood was found in Long's room, and following his death, Long's valuables ended up in Henry's room. Henry's other roommate, Edward Hodges, reportedly does landscaping in the area known as the Temple Estate along Carmine's Island Road. This man says Hodges would bring equipment to his shop nearby for repair. Wyndham Field says he saw Hodges and another man leaving the property in Hodges' evergreen landscaping truck the afternoon of Saturday, February 11th. That's the day after Long was killed and just a day before his body was found. Hodges is charged with accessory to murder after the fact, allegedly helping Henry to wrap Long's body in a tarp and then using Hodges' landscaping truck to move that body 14 miles to the wooded spot where it was found buried. Fields says he was surprised to see one of his clients on the news. Well, like I said, he probably just got caught up in the wrong crowd. So I spoke to his dad and he said the same thing to him. Three other people face charges, but not in connection with Long's death. Henry, of course, will go back to jail at the Middle Peninsula Regional Jail. In Gloucester County, Chris Horn, 10 in your side. A lot